Hey everybody, this is Co-Impact with Let's Play Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure. We just got done reading the secret log of Olmstein. And, uh, got to ooh, readjust that back after we did the book thing. And we learned a lot. And by that I mean we learned that the code here is some kind of control. All right, and then spell bang. Point the triangles to the right. And spell bag. B. A. Y. Right? Oh, sorry. It might be the left control panel. The B. A. Y. Aha! Look at that. Wait a minute, what's this one? Lab? It's like... A... B? I don't know how to open the other door yet. A torn fabric! With a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Whoever they were... I really hope they didn't end up in the darkness below. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD! Get it through your thick skull! Aha! Uh -huh. I really don't need it. So this one will lead us to the cultist. That will lead us to death. <laughs> EOD. Aha! Let us go! Wait, do I need this? No. And it, and it saves my page. Fun. And what did we do? Trusted the butcher. Put our faith in the carnifex. Double cross by that... that freak! Denying the dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid misplaced loyalty. Oh, fuck. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge. Holy shit, was the, uh, they think the other cult's doing this. No, some other guy's doing it. He's getting into the Olmstein game. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad. You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. True, and he got owned. The thing a true believer cast the first stone, well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly, it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. Okay, here comes a fun achievement. I'm gonna probably fuck this up, so let's try not to. I'm gonna keep that as a super backup save. Um, uh, The bulky cultist... ...is the one we gotta throw the pebble at last, so we have to hit a lot of other cultists. Freaking, freakish cultists. Look at those idiots. Kooky. I can't throw the Haunter's Mark that far. Suspect I know one neighbor. of them know I'm here. Question thy relative. Put your trust in no one but yourself and be gone. See all these cultists? We're gonna have to hit all of them, and the bulky one is the one we gotta hit last. And me! Okay, I was about to say, it wouldn't let me activate that. They can curse you! I speak the truth and they may be in our midst, right? Huh? That's strange. Repent. 
repent in the face of Father Davis. Son of a squid. Yeah, well, fishy things, but that purple guy didn't. How did we trust him with a moniker like that? Stars fall on you. Huh? Yeah, see, there are traitors. Stars. I thought these guys. Were When I think that beast and beast of fish be fed to the kraken all the time, hoping it so don't hit the bulky tolls. Suffering squids. And then we hit the bulky cultist. Pop. Haunter. Haunter. That's my mark. Hunter. Enough of this master! Oh, they are here! Look! And now it. we got Pebble Rouser. Treason. There has been one true god, you fish-loving heathen! And his name is the Haunter! How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the trouble! Oh, oh no, what have you done, Don? Now you're going to Thunder Bay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! Wh what are you doing? Here she is! A siren scream deep within her fishman blood has freed the fish and killed the cultists. Bye, cultists. Man, maybe we shouldn't have kept all those horror terror fish in the same room. Oh, bell. Holy shit, it's a third bell. How'd you make it out alive? As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. Nah, no, I shouldn't be. Here she is. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Hooray. Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke. I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. And there she goes. What about you, man? Where's Pete? we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether yeah, things Yeah, where'd you get that money up order. front? I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve... Everything about Olmstein makes no sense. It's like if I could read the Bizarro book, I would... I would know. Yeah, why are you up here in the... So, like, already in the town? this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing. <laughs> Looking for Olmstein, aren't we, we all? We might joke about the sightseeing. But that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. Really now? What kind of sign? What sign? Why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmuck, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate. If only we had time. 
We're running out of time, unfortunately. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Uh, Butcher has built, built a pseudo Thilu. Help us find and stop this Butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. What did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The Butcher was definitely in cahoots with. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. The half Gufa, and what of its purpose? The meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising the sea monster as an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the butcher. Huh. He obviously took his. Yeah, they meal, got butched for it. MCHK, now they're all dead. Whatever it is, and, and thanks, escaped. Priscilla. You were a great character, but now we must move on to greater things. Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. He left a picture yeah, of a triangle. Nice of him. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula, a constellation. Could be a map. That's a good way to put it. Mm, thanks. I'll give it some thought. I've come across terrible things in the butcher's pit. Oh yeah, the abnos. Where were they? Oh, it's it just second trumpet. Come on, you can survive second trumpet. Than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not because he did say he didn't create those. Necronomy. Those were already here. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make. Cats speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some might say it's the same thing. How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find True! The if he's the guy who's writing the endless Olmstein, work, and he makes reward. reality change to the book, I which I the book thing, the guy this. down below said he's going to take over the, you know, narrative. I don't have time for this. I've got to go. Look, we gotta go, man. We, we've got a map to fix together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the butcher is headed and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Yeah, Don't a sign. Me. Don't call me Barney. But it but it's shorthand. But it's shorthand. Oh yeah, everybody's here. Hey, kids. He's back. Nice place you've got here, Don. Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken. Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, peace. Oh, yeah? Is he all right? He's waiting. He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. This man is just hiding in a church, looking for signs. Right. I but he does. Into the Part laboratory. of his profession. Sorry, bad flashback. Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. <laughs> He's like, hey, don't worry, fish man. I fought the abomination. It's okay. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? Ah, no. Long I gone. just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? Uh, yeah, I found out about this. MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Mind control. Mind control. There was all kind of brain-related imagery in his lab. How else do you I mean, Cthulhu a drives people insane. A robo-Cthulhu will drive people into your will. Hyperkraken. Mind-controlled hyperkraken. There was a picture of a kraken, one of a human, and one of a pair of dragon wings in his lab. That's gotta be it. That's He's building a fucking really make-your-own-Cthulhu at Build-A-Bear. Either way, he he just does. I mean, that's the next Build-A-Bear special, fed, right? And then ran away with it to who knows where. The half Gufa. What? What will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. We need to get this guy. Yeah, that's you know, before he actually know, kills everyone. Problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. 
we gotta stop always being one step behind them. Yeah, that'd be true. The festival. Fishma really knows how to party. Oh yeah, those what guys will be yeah. for sure is that the esoteric order's been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man. Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. Yeah, they're kind of half fish people, all right. The stabilizing element. Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. Makes sense. Makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. None of us really do. I stand by my conviction. We gotta try just something. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Yeah, so there's gonna be a beast. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? A map. Ah, uh, constellation? So that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. It still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not oh, come prying on. into Dawn's personal files. All right, so we got what? There's Fishmouth. I didn't want to grab it. So Fishmouth is right here in America. There's Broken Bow. There's Paris. Rockamongo. There's Manus. There's Formalis. Formaris. Paris, or Maris, Fishmouth. Anuis. Perth, Volga, Volga, Moscow. Isma. Filipino. Umati. Maybe it's a map. There was a bell in Paris. There's a point there in the middle of the ocean. Maris. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple on Fishmouth. There's a bell there, too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo! Point what? Point Nemo! Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There Is that a real place? I there. actually am asking. Is that a real place? Maybe look it up in, uh, I don't know. news on that, uh, the, the, the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, never returned, apparently. Sounds, uh, encouraging. So we got three bells plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of blood. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Sarge eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can. Oh yeah, Sarge is still over by the other bell. But do we want to, or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster, this beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, or or it might away. bring I'm the real really Cthulhu, realistic. and when you get two Cthulhus, they instantly the like smash and give each other. They they it's a, it's a clash that's unwinnable sorry. because two We're immovable objects we'll hitting each other for nine 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 right? not. Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? Hear me the out. End of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. It doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is gonna be one long trip. Going to the final chapter of the game. 
Final chapter of the game. I hear boat noises, but I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gents, it's kind of crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Yo, why are all the stars linked up like that? What we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and... Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. We might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace. How about we take the mountain? Oh, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really I'd be scared too. The scared. water is uh, blood red. And, and whoever finds the butcher thing. first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. I don't know if my finger snapping was just getting picked up on the mic. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Chapter 7, Point Nemo. The end of the world as we know it. Oh god, there's... Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. There's a lot is going on over here. Does this place seem off somehow? And for some reason, that huge, not quite full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. The Gibbous moon. Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Hey, it's the name Every of the game. Same, Roll credits. Just, let's just. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! What? What is this? He's turned to a hyper realistic. I uh, have no monster. Repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. No. What? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, Kide. B but I didn't even do anything. Oh, God. Oh, no. You think this is permanent? Whoa! Apparently not. Hey, you look like you're from Monkey Island now. now. What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares. I'm squares. Ah! <laughs> Everything is squares. Oh, God, what is this? Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh... You're like, um, uh, uh I get up. But I realistic. feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Whoa, normal again. Wait, I'm back. Oh, praise the infinite universe. I am back. Oh, that was curious. I hate to be the ever cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? <laughs> yep, it's cyclical. No, no, no! The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. W what can we do, Kitty? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. Uh, you're right. Let's keep going. So genuinely disgusting being a hell abomination monster, but a good walk cycle. So we can use the Necronomicon on the cat. Aha! You are a hell abomination now, too. Whoa. What the heck did you do, <laughs> It worked. The Necronomicon actually worked on you. Did you think I wasn't going through enough already? Look at me! I know, I know. But this might be helpful. Uh... Watch, watch this, watch this. We're, we're going to do this a bunch of times, too. Oh god, you're all blurred. I hate you, Buzz. 
Good to know you stay the same, regardless of definition. Do it again. Whoa! <laughs> oh no, this is insulting. <laughs> uh, no, you actually look kind of cute. Holy Shut shit, up, this is monster. awesome! All right, Buzz is gonna keep cycling no matter what we do. We can keep using Necronomicon on the cat, and we need to do it quite a few times. Well, at least you can turn me back to normal. We're gonna cycle the cat a million times. Yes, this is for an achievement. One that I didn't even focus on doing at the time of here, because... Of course, I just didn't click this a million times. I just did it to get through the puzzle. Apparently that's what they call a gibbous moon. Almost completely visible, but not quite. Almost a full moon. Just almost. The book pops out when we use it. There's a little sprite for it. Come on, man. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't have this achievement. I know I don't. What archway it's is this? normal looking archway. I mean, normal considering the circumstances. Okay, so this is a normal Looks archway. very passable through. I can't pass through for some reason. Don't worry. Were I more literarily inclined, I'd say that it's almost metaphoric in a way. But it's just a stupid moon. She's cooled me enough on moon phase. True. I'm sort of focused down here, actually. Yeah, there's weirdness all over the place. Ah. Bizarre moss covered monoliths are strewn all over this beach. I can see disturbing hieroglyphs all over them. No idea what they stand for. This place makes zero sense. Not worth. Don't know what to do about them. Can't go through. Can't pass through for some reason. Cat can go through. Cat is normal. We must be normal to pass through. I can't. Huh. Made it through. Come on, kitty. All right. Next. A weird art. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks both painterly and pasted on. Really strange stuff. It just looks. All right, live action cat, get through. And Buzz should turn. We can get through. God, it's like a living, throbbing, <laughs> it's organic like a archway. One. It's grossing me out, man. I know I'll have to, but I dread even coming close. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna skip the dialogue so we can make it through in one go. Cat's on the other side. Now it's your turn. It's a really blocky arch thing. It's like it's not fully loaded or, or something. We're gonna wait another cycle for it. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna wait another cycle Very for it. Pixelated. 
That's where we need to make it to. Man, I hope Dawn and Peace have it easier than us. Looks like quite the climb. We'll get there together. Yeah, we'll get there with our cat. I want to get through these gates first, and then we can end the episode. Please change me. Please change. Alright, get through there before it changes you again, Buzz. So, at least we're putting this insanity to use somehow. Just keep going, please. Alright, let's go. Doopa 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 dabba doopa doopa dabba scat legs. Oh, I'm gonna fix you, cat. There we go, I fixed I fixed the cat. Well, but maybe I didn't need to fix the cat. Alright, so this has been Quinn Pack with Let's Play. Cthulhu Photogon, no, give it a Cthulhu adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. Well, here we are at the end of the game. There's actually not much left to go, so hopefully we can finish it soon. Got a couple more achievements to get in this chapter. I missed most of my achievements here at the end of the game, so hopefully we can get everything done and finish the story. Maybe one or two more videos. I will see you then.